We started as a group of four faculty that were all doing different aspects of water related science and research and really wanted to be able to bring to the curriculum at Pitt and to bring to the graduate student and undergraduate student experiences opportunities to work with communities on socially relevant or impactful projects. In 2020, the Pittsburgh Water Collaboratory was awarded a teaming grant from the Pitt Momentum Funds titled Transcending Disciplines to Advance Water Equity. In this, we gathered a team of researchers across the university from varying disciplines to identify and evaluate different water inequities in the region. For the Water Collaboratory to be recognized is a, a tremendous honor. It's also a tremendous honor for our partner, Women for a Healthy Environment, to be recognized in the amount of work that they provided in this space. So Women for a Healthy Environment is an environmental health nonprofit based here in Allegheny County that's focused on environmental exposures that affect human health. Our mission is to educate and empower all people to be able to avoid those environmental risks and live safe and healthy lives. Water is something that we use every day. It comes out of our tap, but we don't always know where it comes from or the processes that happen behind the scenes. Back in 2014, water quality kind of hit the mainstream when Flint, Michigan and their lead crisis became a huge public issue. And the thing is, we had that same issue here in Pittsburgh with lead in our drinking water. The team that worked on this report just put in so many hours and so much work and really were just very, very dedicated in getting the information right and making it as good as possible, both for the public that are consuming the water, but also for the water suppliers so that they can have helpful information to help them make decisions. Water is actually a public right and you have the ability to speak and talk with your water system to learn about how they are making decisions. So this report, we evaluated different transparency practices for water systems so that consumers can be more educated and informed. By completing this report and completing this project and publishing these report cards on the 36 water suppliers, we hope will improve access to all of the region's residents, all of the county's residents, to clean water, to affordable water, and to engage with their water suppliers in the best ways possible to ensure transparent practices. We hope that you know, we can also use this award to elevate you know, the different water inequities in the region so that folks can use this as a toolkit to help address different inequities. As a parent of two young children, I think a lot of people can identify with the need to want to protect our region's most vulnerable residents. And we know that blood lead levels in children can be particularly harming for the rest of their lives. You know, as academics that study water and do science around water, we wanted to be able to help in some way. To be honored with this award, it, it just is tremendously validating for the work that we've been doing. We're especially grateful to Women for the Healthy Environment for their knowledge and expertise in working in this area. So I think we're going to use this report that we're putting out to help fuel our advocacy work that we do around the county. The information that we gathered for the report will be really helpful in holding these water systems accountable, making sure that they stay transparent, affordable, and follow drinking water standards. We want to see everybody across the county have clean, affordable, and transparent water systems.